Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Mesale, and today we have a special edition. So we are joined by Uti Isi Nasa. Hi. <laughs> how you, see you, how you ladies doing? Very well, thank you. So what's good? What's good? What's good? Apart from Lagos traffic and all of that, what's good? <laughs> we are alive. We are Lagos alive. Living. Lagos <laughs> living, right? We're thankful. I think everyone is... Um, should be especially thankful today. Exactly. Yeah. Um, mm. Life is such a fleeting thing. So exactly. for me, I'm just happy to be alive. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Same Absolutely. here. Same here. Absolutely. All right, so today, our quote, the future detects the present. That's from Thomas Frey. Thomas Frey will be our special guest today. Yeah. So what do you ladies think about this quote? The future dictates today. It's interesting. Um, I think that one of the things we've talked about on the show is the fact that we lack vision in this country, that a lot of the issues we have in Nigeria today is based on the fact that Nigerians lack vision. So, I mean, this is absolutely spot on. If we were thinking about the future, if we had a vision, this country would be so much better, in my opinion. So, Do you think we don't have a vision or we're just too corrupt to even follow through and... You Some know, of us actually realize. have visions, but we are misled by the uncertainty we have found ourselves in in the country. So not as individuals, no, 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 but as, I think as a nation, as, as a nation, we don't have a vision. We don't, you know, where how old are we going to be? Sixty years soon, mm -hmm. and what's the Nigerian dream? Yes. What's the Nigerian exactly. dream? Right? So, yeah. You know, I think that to be rich. <laughs> To survive I'm the sorry. madness. You know, Nasa, you're putting it really nicely. I'm sorry. We, to hammer. <laughs> to blow. No, because, because honestly, in all honesty, if we say that the future actually dictates, dictates the, the present, present, then it means... It means that everything that we're doing, you know, as a people, we should be thinking Working in the work. next 20 years. Yes. Would this still be relevant? It will help this, us to yes. prioritize. So it helps you to just put priority where exactly. it's supposed Absolutely. to be. Exactly. It's a really, really... I mean, we, we had Vision 2020, guys. That was Vision well, Everybody 2020. Everybody had Vision 2020. 2020. Yeah, but so what I'm saying is there was a vision. What happened? No. It, no, it that one, I won't call it a vision. I'll call it an agenda. It was an agenda. But but you know what, what affects Nigeria as well is that we don't have continuity. Absolutely. If oh, we, of if we that's, that's love it or hate it, Lagos State has benefited from continuity. Mm. Yes. But as a, as a nation... And they've never done it perfectly. Exactly, that's what I'm but saying, is that love know? it or hate it, yeah. you can see the value of continuity in yeah. the United States. Yeah. So when there is a vision, mm. which I think that right from Tinubu's administration, mm -hmm. we've yes. been seeing that vision come to fall. There's a blueprint. Yeah. The, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you can see already that it works. Because people are working towards Absolutely. a certain direction. Absolutely, but you know, once party changes, somebody comes in with seven different agenda, agenda, different agenda different some, so you're right, actually, it's an agenda. Right <laughs> if you go to Dubai, that's one of the beautiful things about that country. You know, they have it, you know, especially if you've visited the Bush Khalifa, uh -huh. they have that, that plan yep. where they tell you, okay, this is where we're going. So mm. you can see. You can visualize. Mm -hmm. You can visualize this is their plan, this is their direction. Anybody that And comes, everybody knows just, what their role is. Mm -hmm. Just fit And in. how you fit into. Well, I think it's, it's, a, it's a quote that we need to really, really reflect okay. on if we truly want to change. Not lip service, not yeah. paying lip service. All right, so today, it's um, an interesting day. So we'll start with uh, with you, Uti. What what did you find for us in the news? Um, well, I think my story is everywhere. It's been in the news all yeah. th all throughout last night. In fact, when I first saw it, I thought it was fake news, and it's the very sad news of the death of uh, Kobe Bryant, basketball superstar, legend. In fact, um, Kobe Bryant, and the fact that what makes it even more sad is that his 13 year old daughter Gianna. Um, lost her life as well. So it's a helicopter crash. And it's um, so many people, nine people died in total. So a whole family, a mother, a father, a, a daughter, hmm. another mother and daughter and the pilot. So, I mean, so much tragedy. I mean, we focused on Kobe, of course, but there is so many families today who their lives will never be the same. Exactly. And it, it's important to, to realize that um, I can't remember who tweeted yesterday to say that he was just beginning the next chapter of his, of life. his life. Because he was, and I mean, I think in the sport he will always, uh, uh, and passing in this way, he will forever be a legend. Absolutely. But you can't take away from his accomplishments. A 20 year career, breaking all sorts of records. I mean, and the, what I call it scary, the eerie thing about it was just on Saturday. 
uh, LeBron Lebron James just yes. passed his all-time, well, he's number two in scoring record. So James has now come up to number two. And, you know, it's, he posted a really lovely tweet acknowledging and talking about continuing to change the game. So like he really had, exactly, passing on the baton, he really loved the game of basketball. But he was going to the second phase of his life. I mean, he has an Oscar. The man penned a short movie, like animated movie, narrated really? it, and won an know. Oscar. Wow. So he is, I mean, Talented. he was just about to open up. He had a basketball camp. I mean, China is in distress over Whoa. this news because he used to go to China every summer. He had a summer camp there. He was like a living legend over there. Wow. So I think that, you know, rest in peace rest is, in is peace. all I can say Could to everyone be. that lost Absolutely. their lives. The, the sport of basketball won't be, be the, the same. same. Uh, I mean, if you just go online, you know, whatever platform it is, the tributes are pouring in from Obama to it's Trump. Everybody is, is, you know, he was really loved. And yeah. I, I, what touched me the most was uh, a Vox Pop on the street, I can't remember which of the channels it was, mm -hmm. and a, a man said, I've never met the guy, but he's helped me through so much in my life. He's taught me so much. And he was in tears. Oh. Oh so, uh, what kind of legacy do we want to leave behind? This is exactly. what you start to ask That's yourself. what's important. Because exactly. life is so fleeting. It is. So for me, it's all about legacy. You know, another thing we can also look at is the fact that probably, like you said earlier on, that if the child, um, Gianna, as tragic as it was, if Gianna hadn't been with her dad, nobody nobody knows if she would have been able to prove it. I don't think she'd have made it. it. <sighs> Because there was so, so tragic. 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 Although I'm, I'm hearing that um, LeBron James, I think he was third position. He was really, third, so yeah. he's moved to he's second. Moved so he's to taken second over now. from Kobe as the second. Wow, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Oh, well, and we, we pray his that. soul rest in peace. It's really heartbreaking for me because, departed. you know, nothing really struck me until I saw the um, the time for the, I mean, sorry, the age for the daughter. So when they wrote 13, 2006 yeah. Yeah. to 2000 and and 20, 20 it just reminded me that my when i first became a mother yeah. it was 2020 oh, wow. um, 20, 2006 Six. you know so it's just like it a, touches your 13 year old yeah. you know mm -hmm. that's really yeah. sad it's really sad, yeah. Yeah. So, very sad and, uh, one the sad one Isi, what yes. did you find for us okay in the news um we all know about the story about the lady who actually stabbed her husband in 2017 mm. so currently she has finally been convicted in a, a court in Abuja. Her name is Mariam Sander. She has been sentenced to die by hanging wow. and uh, for killing her husband. What the judge actually said is that it's blood for blood and that she deserves, she should reap what she sowed. And um, when the court was, when it was read in the court and the ruling was read, the mother and the family that were with her, they actually broke down in tears and started to cry. She ran after her mother, but they had to pull her back into the courtroom. It was a heart-rending um, experience, I think. But for whatever it is, nobody's looking at the aspect of the fact that, OK, well, the father, what, the, happened? It, what like, actually you know? happened, nobody actually knows. Because she's knows. not the first lady to kill her husband. Exactly, and, but I, I think it's stories. because the family is a very prominent family. Uh, she, um, his the family fa or hers? The her family. Half, um, his family is yeah, well, very prominent. Oh. He, he's the son of the former PDP. Um, chairman, chairman. Mm -hmm. um, Haliru um, Bello. Oh. So currently, it's like so blood for blood. She must go. So, but the key thing the we should also yeah. look at mm. here is that the the girl's father, the the children. She's the mother of two. Mm. So currently, the father is dead, and now they they've sentenced the mother to oh. to be yeah, to be hung, and that means that the children are left without a father or a mother. I think there shouldn't be exceptions to things like that, if and you ask me. Because and I actually thought capital punishment yeah, because of the children. Yes. So do you want to now have both, I mean, both parents And gone? I think it's just because of the families involved. Yeah. That's why they're going to this. Because and I actually thought yeah. that honest, capital, capital punishment has been eradicated. So exactly, I know. I, I know more so. people. So I'm just wondering why so. her. So why? <laughs> That's what it is. Wow. So sad. Okay, so um, my story is the plague that has, <laughs> that's, it's back well, again. it's back again, right? So Lassa has always come and gone. So Lassa yes. fever, another case been reported in Adamawa State, uh, four cases actually, um, reportedly still undergoing investigation. So the patients have been um, admitted at the Federal Medical Center in Yola, and then samples taken and sent to Abuja for further investigation. So it's not been confirmed that it's Lassa, but they suspect that it's Lassa. 
And um, I know there's been a lot of information going around on how to prevent this uh, from happening. One of the ones that I've seen that is interesting is people that like to eat suya out of paper. Paper bags. So maybe papers, you should, okay. uh, newspapers, yeah? So mm -hmm. rats go newspaper or whatever. So maybe you should take your container to the suya man. <laughs> that would look quite interesting. I don't know. It's maybe we just stop eating suya. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh -uh. Because there's a test that comes with the paper. Don't suggest stopping eating suya. <laughs> suya didn't done, hasn't done anything. Okay, with. so Uti, suya in container in a plastic bowl, uh -huh. Tupperware, yes. as opposed to newspaper. I will take my bowl. Actually, a lot Maybe of this, foil. A lot of this suya places. I'm just going to say that a lot of this suya mm. places actually wrap it in foil first, foil first. before they wrap it in paper. Okay, but so me, well. I will happily, will happily take, my take your Tupperware. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so there are so many. Dimensions. Scary stories. <laughs> I know, right? Me. It's a very sad day. So yes, it hopefully is. we'll be able to go to Pull rise above this. it. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so my story is also um, the outbreak in China, the coronavirus. Currently, um, there are about 2,700 confirmed cases of coronavirus in China, wow. with 81 deaths. Wow. That's really crazy. In the US, they have four confirmed cases, and in the UK, 40 confirmed cases. Now that is hmm. scary. That brings it close away. to home. That's really scary for me. Yeah. Because we thought it was the far UK, away. especially we love yeah, to yeah. travel. Exactly. And London before is like say, an extension of Lagos. Yeah, yeah before you <laughs> cough, <laughs> somebody has gone to the UK on Friday. People and go to London quicker than you go to Ibadan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So for us, I think, you know, because why would, because that's why I was just, you know, <laughs> I mean, when you were mentioning newspaper and all of that with, uh, with um, last of you, I'm wondering, are we ready? You know, are we ready for what is coming? Yes. Because there are things are that are coming. Any, any, just um, reminds one of the Ebola crisis. You understand? So can, uh, can we... Can, can How are we, we curbing so, this or preventing this from even yeah, spreading? Yeah, can exactly. we ask the federal government what exactly are we doing in all our what borders? What did we do in the time of Ebola? That's, no, that's Ebola was... E Ebola happened... Listen, with Ebola, it had come in before the, they started the checks in, and at the airport. And we were able to curb it. No. Listen, it was just God it that brought. Blessed. That was just we were just saying. blessed, Doctor we Adadevo. So we're going to leave it to God again. No, we, that's what I'm saying. That we cannot. So we cannot wait to hear that somebody has come into the country yeah. before we, before start, we to start, start to react. To react. What that's what I'm saying. So done. what checks are being done currently um, at our airport, at airport and all the other ports that yeah. come that that um, things will come in through mm -hmm. to, to us but in Nigeria? It's a little bit difficult because the symptoms are very serious. to very common flu. Common flu. So you wouldn't even know. If that's what you actually have at the end of the so day. So that's why I'm saying that it's, it's, it's much more scary for, for me when I hear this. So, but then I also mm -hmm. read somewhere, or I listened to some, so they were saying that the people who have died have died from complications of maybe um, underlying medical diseases. So some people who their immune systems are really weak. So it's not that it actually kills. It does like, kill. No, it Even does. One of the medics but it wouldn't in China kill you. was infected. But the stories, so while let's the doctor, patient. yes. So, yeah, it's, so and so the he immune actually system, died from the because from it doesn't have, as well. you know it doesn't have a cure. So mm -hmm. what they're treating is treating the symptoms. the symptoms. So what 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 she's trying to say is if your immune system can't, it's, it's a bit like Ebola. We didn't yeah. have a cure at the time. So what they were doing was giving you lots of fluids yeah. and treating the symptoms. And, so you let know, your body fight yeah, it. Yeah, because it's a virus. Yeah. So um, again, you do have to make sure that you're trying to at least keep up your health, take mm -hmm. your vitamins, eat well, so that you're not even more susceptible, susceptible. to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just hoping that what we did with Ebola, let's start mm. it now. Don't wait till it gets to... And then personal hygiene. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When, so like yeah. your sanitizers, you know, where you're... You know, Nigerians, it was then that everybody knew how to do that. After Ebola went away, all my sanitizers are there. Nobody oh, used it. Nigerians love life. <laughs> Ebola. Don't Honestly. shake me. Don't shake me. Even in church. Yeah, exactly. Even in church. In church, you know, we used to hold our hands. Oh, to yeah. hold their hands. Yeah. They stopped it. Hold holy, hold holy <laughs> hands. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. fact, when it's time for birth, piece of uh, paper. Oh, no, 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 okay, so today it. we're talking about how technology, especially artificial intelligence, is changing our lives. And if we are ready, we'll do that right after this break. Please stay with us.